snapped and all that. Kirk's pissed. Yeah. Uh, that one uh, paladin, you ha no, cleric you had with you uh, died. Well, not exactly died, he transformed. Um, and then you had to kill him. Uh, you found out that the that you not only did you meet the lich, but you also discovered that she's got more demons with her. And then you had to fight yeah. a rock. Uh, but oh, now you've well, got dying. some idea of where the kid might be. You you speculated that he might be at the museum. Um, you also discovered from the location of the um, from the rings and the and the bracelets that the final piece you're looking for is up north far north of the prison. Our first it, hospital would be pissed. Yeah, because it was it was west of the safety and security office, which meant the hospital. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna have to go all the way back there. At least and we left on good terms with her. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, though you did have all those monsters that were trying to find you when you were closing doors and brocading them and you heard them breaking through, but you were in pass without a trace and managed to escape yep. them. <laughs> yeah, fuck those guys. Alright, let's see. Oops, let me get rid of these tokens that aren't there anymore. Uh, let's see. Eight plus my constitution. And torn went missing. Okay. And I shall put the new token down. So it's head there. Alright. Um, okay, so oh, where's Pam? Eight. Fifth level, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah. Pan, you and Pan kind of trudge along. Uh, Edvar, though, kind of like stumbles into the door. And finally, as you reach it, as you arrive through the door, he simply collapses onto the ground and stops moving. That sucks. So, Mal, from your perspective, yeah, from your perspective, uh, a two people wearing nib um, uniforms um, have just walked in, along with some sort of weird-looking dragonborn. I say. What blazes is that? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna be like. Ah. And now you've seen one of them, the uh, the elven-looking one, uh, collapse to the ground. Oh man, that sucks. I should probably go check about that lad. I'll go check about that lad. Ooh, man, dog, stop it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm just going to have Thong oh, kind of crouch down next to him and say, and attempt to cast whatever healing spell she might have left. And yeah. looking, looking up at you, looking distraught. The kobolds, meanwhile, looking around um, at you and going, Hey, you're missing some people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, we're uh, sworn to secrecy. We need to get some sleep and uh, head out again. The... the the, uh, the wolf that you know is named Devil comes wandering over and starts whimpering, nudging first at Edvar and then looking over at Kurt. Um, the blonde man, the, well, from your perspective, the blonde man uh, that's been slumped over the uh, the bar stool for a while now looks up suddenly at hearing the uh, the wolf whimper and looks over at at Kurt at the um, the nib guy and his down companion and the dragonborn companion. Saying, hey. Wait, wait, where's the kid? So you're concerned. It is my concern. You, just... you gave up that right for concern when you decided not to go with us. You didn't want me to go with you. I said nothing of the sort. Well, the other ones what did. The, what do you care what Speaking of which, where are they? The... Well, there's Don't a reason why the they're kid's gone. Dead. Kid's fine. For the time being. Fine. Yes. He kind of fine narrows his word. eyes over at Kurt. Kurt just gives his face straight. Oh, man, I'm just going to keep drinking. Then we'll attempt to pull, Ed, Ed, pull, pull Edvar in as the, uh, the dwarf kind of goes back over to guard the door. He shakes his head looking down at Edvar. Looks like this one's spent, laddie. He kind of pokes oh, well. Edvar with the butt of his shotgun. Oh, I don't just fucking throw him out, though. I don't know what you guys do with dead people. Clyde kind of shakes his head. His head. 
Oh wait, hang on. Uh, Bubba is like, like he's disproving of it because you know that's disgracing the dead, I guess. After a player cleared before, so. But he doesn't say anything because it's none of his business. <laughs> on a, on a side note, by the way, do you need? Uh, I do have a website where you can uh, put in like a. Uh, I know a website where you can put in images to make like. Uh, like the regular tokens, you know, the circle ones, if you ever need one. And do have cool. one that... Yeah. I, I mean, I have that if you want to see. use it. You can see, like, the different background colors and, like, different color tokens and fun stuff uh, like that. If you ever it. wanted to use it. That's cool. Sorry, so, I was reading so, something. So Kurt has absolutely no care that 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 his companion Edvar has dropped dead behind him. Oh, okay. Yeah, at this point, Kurt's just like another one bites the dust. He's in shock. Okay. Uh, to, uh, yeah, like at this point, it happens so often he's not phased by it anymore. And Clyde just seems royally pissed off. Oh, that's his problem. Hey. Clyde kind of so stalks over to... Okay, go ahead, Mo. Uh, uh, so, uh, who's slumped down on the ground? Uh, the, the, elven, the, the elven guy wearing a nib coat. Uh, nib, the FBI, basically. Uh, look, mm -hmm. uh, the national law enforcement. Mm -hmm. So, oh, you know, basically, two, two federal cops walk in, one of them drops dead. Oh, that sounds like a start of a bad joke. <laughs> I can't. I would. He would kind. He would kind of like look over again. Still not doing anything. Just having to keep having his drinks. It's nothing I, I, interesting in him at this point. All Besides right. the dead guy, but you know. Cl Clyde gets right up into right into Kurt's uh, range of sight, basically glaring down at him. Now, you will tell me what happened to the kid, right now. What are you going to do if I don't? You don't want to find out, gnome. I've seen many things. He, has been, he will be taken care of, that I can assure you. If you want to come with us, you're more than welcome to. I have no issues with it. But you're not but I can't tell question. you right now. What but... happened to him? Can't tell you right now. Clyde kind of makes a growling noise that's, that makes his uh, wolf companion kind of look up at him and look over at Kurt and doesn't seem to know what to do. He, if you come with us, I will face. tell you. If you come with us, I will tell you. Otherwise, I'm not going to tell you. The wolf kind of sniffs around and sniffs at Mal's feet, kind of staying away from Kurt and Clyde at the moment. I'm gonna go over and try to. I see the from this wolf thing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pet it. For the sake of it, gonna coming around my feet. I might as well just pat the wolf, its head. The wolf t tilts its head up and starts sniffing at your hand. Mechanic hands. Mechanic one hand. <laughs> it nudges the mechanical hand and starts moving away again. Dude, what the fuck? I mean, yeah. I guess what the fuck's the matter with you? <laughs> That's what the wolf is thinking. Dude, shit. You're right. Mm. <laughs> I guess, uh, I'm just gonna keep on, keep on drinking away, I guess. And drink the night away. Well, the, the night hasn't ended in days. It's been pitch black outside since it all began. You have no idea what day it is anymore. The last day you remember it was was the 25th of Divine. Well, keep on drinking. I remember, like, it was Tuesday. <laughs> Drink to the sun don't shine. Which is never. So, yep. forever. Ah, here we are, spells. Uh, one. 
Yay. So Clyde kind of grumpily sits back down, waiting to see what's going to happen next. Yeah. You have a, so you have eight hours to Ma decide. We still have to wait somehow how to get Maul and Kurt interested in talking to each other. Let's find out. I mean, if there was a fight about a breakout, I mean, I, I was half expecting Clyde to, like, start start some bullshit. I'm like, oh, man. That's uh, not fun. Kirk can hit himself. What is oh, no, yeah, Kirk kind of knows, nice. knows better than to try to fuse physical violence on a monk. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah he's, he's more likely, he'd be more likely to, to pick Kurt's pockets or something like that. Or, you know, pick Edvar's pockets since he's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's dead. Shit. Man down. He'll be fine. He'll, he'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Hey. Yeah. So, I'm guessing and I, the nib is, I'm pretty sure, well known. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 you know the the national uh, you know the national police so force so everybody here would know that. Yeah, the feds. We're so. the darks. Oh man. Hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. Are you? Yes. I don't. I don't know how. How I'm gonna interject myself into this kind of scenario? So I'm trying to think of. Does Kurt want a drink? Yeah, uh, Kurt's smoky. Well, Kurt could always sit down next to Clyde, or you know, anything. Yeah, after. sure. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying to finish Bubba. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, Kurt's next to Clyde. I'm just trying to find some way of introducing Malden because it's like you know it. This sort of interaction requires player and player, and not just GM interacting with each of you separately. Yeah, sorry about that. No, that's yeah, okay. Yeah, next to so curl sit next to him. It's just uh, sit there and start smoking, and then after he takes a hit, slams his face on the table. <laughs> I look. I would look over and like, what the fuck? I've been through one hell of a week. I think. I've been here a while. We've all been here a while, Clyde Brumbles. Shut up, you. You got some thinking to do. Hmm. Well, I need to go <sighs> find the kid, is it's basically what he says. Yes, I'm aware of that. You somehow lost him, and he's not dead. Then I need to go find him. I. He's not lost, of that I can assure you. Then I know where exactly where he's is at. He? Where is he? If you decide to go with us, I'll tell you. Clyde kind of sighs hard. I will go with you if you tell me where he is. I guess we're in a bit of a pickle then, aren't we? I guess we are, my friend. I guess we are. Grumbles. All right, anyways. So, you want to come with us? It'll be fun. You might die. Yeah. Then my mother and father would be very happy. Well, I, I was saying that to Clive. Or, the other, the new guy. <laughs> oh, Clive assumed you were talking to him, so he's funny that way. Nope. <laughs> I was talking to the new dude that I sat next to. I think. Oh, no, you're, sitting, you're sitting next to Clive. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're like two seats away from me. I'm just having a good old time. I picked Not two dying. random people. I picked two other people. Like, hey, guess what? You guys have been drafted, or deputized, or whatever the fuck the term is. And I pointed at Bubba D and this other dude. Mall. Well, Bubba's yeah, like, well, rah, 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 fine. Rah, rah, rah. Uh, I'm gonna go. Son, what do you mean? You look capable, and I might have a higher chance of surviving if I take you too long. <laughs> And where are you exactly trying to take us along? On an adventure. Try to grumble something. <laughs> I look over to the Ted guy. It seems like he had one hell of an adventure. Yeah, he did. Let me tell you. 
He killed a lot of shit. We're trying to figure out how to get the hell out of here. And we're out of, we're pretty, we feel like we're pretty close to it. Mm -mm. He takes one final swig of his drink. Looks over to you. He's like, aren't we all? Bubba D's like, And what's, what's in it for me to help out a few nebs? Nubs. Well... If you decide you ever want to see the beach again, so I'm, or anywhere been, else for that matter, I've never been to the beach. Yeah, see, you're never going to. This shit keeps going on. The, the local beach in this country, by the way, would be up north to, around Tawala, which is the major port. Well, never been in the major port. Tell you what. Don't you want to see the fire young ladies in their, uh, skivvies? He kind of winks. <laughs> he gives him, like, a weird, like, raises Ted eyebrow. Ted kind of like, looks over towards Pawn at this point and looks back at Kurt. You mean, like, her? Oh. That's up to you, dude. She might be a dragon worm, but she actually has a dragon-looking born person, but she also has breasts, and I've heard from somebody yeah. else that Dragonborn don't usually have breasts. Yeah. I mean, uh, he kind of, he kind of looks over, he's like, uh, it's not, no, no, no dragons here. Although, he can speak Draconic, so I mean, I guess, if it really came well, down to it, but, uh, no. I'm not well, saying her, I'm just saying anybody. I mean, anybody, really. But, um, you know, he's going to go, why the hell not then? I guess I'll come along. Sweet. I seen a picture for Bubba. Sorry, I'm trying to finish him up. I just got to find a random. That's cool. Oh, I just wanted I to make a token. <laughs> token. Speaking of tokens. Uh... Well, with Bubba D in, in, in tow, I can uh, bring you guys over to uh, the next point of contact and just have Pawn in yeah. the background, or uh, leave her behind at the at at the um, the tavern here because she's getting over the death of Edvar. Yeah, probably do that. Edvar. Yeah, I, th I think I designed the 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 place that you said you wanted to go next. Uh, with the possibility of only um, a couple characters doing it, so you should be okay. Cool. Should be. Should be, yes. If this isn't should be, of course, there's always random rolls and people doing dumbass stuff. It's true. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I don't think Mel's going to be another, uh, another uh, oh, so we're good. Yeah, I'm pretty interested in what's going on here. Even though, like, the situation's like, hey, come along with us. Why? Why not? And you're like, fuck it, I guess. <laughs> well, what, yeah, why not is a good, resp a good response. Because you've been drafted, that's why. <laughs> you don't have a choice in the draft. By the way, GM, that roll of damage stuff. If you ever want to one day customize roll 20... Tokens, you just drop an image in that where it says draw, drop image start, and you can customize a border, all that Excellent. fun stuff to make some fun tokens. Got your circles and hexagons and squares. It's always fun. Ooh, Deb squares. Deb squares. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. That's uh, okay. So Mel, is there any character in here you wish to interact with? Since uh, Kurt seems to be uh, mm -hmm. seems busy. I'm gonna ask the bartender if he's seen uh, these guys before. Mac nods. 
Yeah, they've come in a few times while you've been out gathering supplies. Hmm. Yep. And and how to and you know what can you get from them? You know, like uh, in terms of uh, what's the term? Uh, sizing them up. You know, like how do they op- You know, how do they seem like? Well, there used to be, you know, more of them. Unfortunately, it looks like more of them have been kind of does the does finger across the throat sign. But I know it's not, you know, at least they're not killing each other. They seem to be trying to do something about the insanity that's befallen our town. I think they really might stand a chance of figuring out what's going on here and stopping it. Uh. Not mm. just trying to survive, but actually stopping this. In terms of like n- nib nib, uh, what's their track l- record like? In terms of like outside of game, like how, what's their track record like in terms of solving problems? Uh, they're usually pretty good at that. They're good with like you know uh, dealing with terror situations, hostage situations, um, yeah, high profile stuff like anything that involves a uh, a noble is part of the nibs territory. Um, whether the noble is accused of something or if something has happened to a noble, um, they're usually the ones investigating. No man, <coughs> aristocracy for you. Yep. Yep. Oh man. Well. Hmm. Take it. I'm gonna ask him for another drink then. While we wait until we move out, I guess. Yeah, I know they're gonna want a long rest. Yeah, that'd be great. Long rest. So, Mac. Yeah, unfortunately, because of the doors thing, um, pretty much all, all the, the 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 southern part of this bar here, that's all um, that's all a bunch of booths that are basically converted into sleeping sleeping space for the for for people. Because there's yeah. no there's no actual rooms for anybody. And all the doors have been taken off the uh, the various door places just to stop the effect from happening. Because somebody already died from getting trapped in the basement for what to the, everybody else up here was like two hours, and for that person it was clearly um, weeks. Hmm. Okay. So they know that it can happen in small spaces like that. So. Oh, that's fun. Yep. Well, as I said, the the um, professor down here, uh, she was doing some th- she was doing some theorizing as to what was going on, and and postulated a theory about uh, multi multi dimensional space interacting with the various planes of existence, and the fact that certain planes, um, you know, view a room like that as a single object instead of as one single part of a greater whole, and therefore time can, you know, be randomized just through an object like that. That's, that's kind of her theory. Mm. It's actually quite exciting to her, in some ways. I mean, you know, you know, it's terrifying, but at the same time, she's basically thinking to herself that there's a lot of opportunity for writing papers and new theories on, on planar um, interactions and everything, all because of this incident. Yeah, so, probably. Yeah. In other words, she's the academic of, the, of, this, uh, of this motley crew here in the tavern. Oh, that's fun. Oh. You know, the seven people you meet in pretty much every horror movie. <laughs> nice. The person that thinks, if I survive, there's a paper in this. I'll be famous. Yeah. Famous. Let's see. Um, hmm. So Clyde, after hearing uh, Ma- overhearing Mal's discussion with Mac, kind of like jumps out of his stool and walks over. Eh, they didn't burn anything special, really. They didn't do like anything else. They have their their own set of rules, their own training, and they kind of like you know only look after themselves. And Curtis how are... <laughs> uh, Clyde, by the way, appears to be a human. He looks like he's about 19 or so. 
Oh, man. Kids these days. Back in my day. Back in my day. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> and what was uh, Clyde asking again? He wasn't really asking. He was kind of grumbling about the nib. The nib. I'm going to just tell him, son, it's better if you just accept what's been going on and just try to help fix it. Yeah. Or I'm... let the professionals deal with it. Yeah. I was here a couple days before this all went down. Days. He knows. It's funny. Yeah, rolled in the town, scoped out the museum, eventually found my way here to the tavern. But you know, when the shit went down, I ended up getting trapped in that school up north. Hmm. Oh, that old thing? Yep, got trapped in, in, in the kitchen. All the way in the, in the freezer section. <laughs> There's these, these creatures in there. They... From a distance, they almost look like children, but they're some sort of evil swarm. Uh, nasty critters. A mouth mm. full of teeth. It's pretty much their head is almost a mouth, and the mouth is full of little teeth. Huh. That's... <clears throat> Probably that's something that I don't want to deal with. They reproduce rapidly. They practically... Eat their body weight, and then they split in two. Mm. Oh. Well, then, what the... <coughs> God. Hold on. <sighs> I'm always dying in coughing right there. Yeah. Um. So what happens? Mm. <laughs> Okay, bro. Uh, I left over my uh, my M and M dispenser. Oh, that's. Clean up before the cat gets in, gets into the M and M's. They're you know the chocolate. They're poisonous. Yep. Okay. So language choose. So you dwarf. Perfect. Which god or devotion are you going to with your cleric? Uh, knowledge. Uh, I said look at the gods, so I'm gonna go with the knowledge to me. Excellent. The knowledge. Okay. I feel like, for the sake of this session, this should just be like, not even roleplay, just since it's only like two players, I feel like it's gonna be kinda hard to you know, do a lot of the stuff we need to do, so I feel like maybe for this session it's just like you know, everyone, like most of the characters just getting, just for like the next session if we have most of everyone here you know, like just yeah, everyone getting to know each other yeah, cause it's kinda, it's kinda awkward you talk and then you're like, okay what more to talk about and try to, try to think about like, oh man you know, <laughs> I'm thinking uh, with uh, Kurt also playing a cleric and bringing Clyde along, but we might at least be able to get to the next area. Yeah. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, damn, someone's calling me. I'll be right back. Okay. I made soup. What kind of soup? Pork noodle soup. Good stuff. It's like chicken noodle, but with pork. <sighs> oh, I got the hard part taken care of. I got all the spells picked. Now we just need a picture. 
Oh yeah, I was working on that. Uh, that's it. I saw a thing online that said, uh, these characters walked into a bar, the bartender asked why they brought their weapons, and the guy was like, Yeah, I like uh, that one. Yeah, I thought that was They cool. laughed, the bartender laughed, the table laughed, they killed the table. Good times. It was, it was a good day. That's funny. There he is. Bubba D, Bubba Die. Hush up. Very, very quiet. Yep, sorry. I had to go talk to someone. That's okay. I was just noticing that it yeah, was I need some quiet. crackers, too. Ugh. I went ahead and threw Bubba down. Yeah, you also need to fix your HP. Does 29 HP sound about right for a uh, cleric? Yeah, but I'm saying is it's it's in um it, it needs to be in both slots. Right now it's only in one, so it looks like he's dead. I fixed it. Excellent. I was just curious because it didn't seem like it was a whole lot. Nope, it still looks like he's dead. Oh really? Oh, I put the number in there. Yeah, see. No, it needs to be done. It, there we go. And your token should be proper now. Yep, it's all one word to Bubba D, Bubba Day. <laughs> that looks like a typical no, a typical dwarf there. Hard, 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 hard. Hello. Probably sleeping in one of those large, ogre-sized, minotaur-sized seats. Yep. He is a dwarf after all. Mm-hmm.
Hmm. One welcome said something about having to go away for a moment, but I forget what. Yeah. Oh shit. That's go wrong. Away. Oh, that just passed the time by. Already. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> um. Welcome back. Yep. As you can see, we now have a dwarf cleric. Wonderful. <laughs> so we can move okay. along to having everyone having a, a, a long rest to regain their yep. uh, skills and HP, and moving people out. Alright. see what we got here. So let's get out of here. Off to the hospital we go. Hi-ho, hi-ho, to the hospital <laughs> we go. <laughs> when you know four different languages, you are fluent in everything. Yep. And... Yes. I'm fluent in common, dwarven, elven, primordial, and gibberish. gibberish. All right. Your current location is here at the watering hole. Yep. Wonderful. And where would you say you wish to go next? We are heading to the hospital. Alright. So we're going to go north to the supermarket. You planning on going into the supermarket? Nope. That's just the... I feel like we should go left. Alright. You travel around the dark... It <laughs> Excuse me. The darkened streets. They all feel silent and empty at this hour. Of course, it's been this hour for a while now, but still. Silent and empty. You don't even see any monsters out on the road. It's as if something is pulling them away. Eventually, you make it over here to the hospital. Let's see, I probably need to fix tokens there, too. Oh, Bubba D. Bubba dies wearing uh, doctor robes. Alright. Did he work at this hospital? No. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I'm not sure what happened to this hospital. Hold on, hold on. So he probably wasn't there during the shooting. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, Kurt's gonna pull out the magical gear and have it pull him in the direction he needs to go. The rings and the bracelet. It appears to be up and a bit north. Where are we at? Uh. Oops. Hold on. I think at the right. I was gonna say I don't think we're looking at the right one. There we are. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You can still hear movement in this room over here to the to the west. 
Alright, I'll have sneaks. Kurt cast past without a trace. Alright. Now you're in a cone of near silence where you can still hear each other. And hear things coming out from up there, but they can't hear you. So you sit up into the north? Unless, you... uh, Upstairs? Yes. it would be upstairs and a bit north of your current position. Alright. <clears throat> How's the door to my right looking? It looks clear. It looks like most of the monsters are still congregating over to towards the west, probably where you drew them the last time you were in this hospital. Awesome. Let me go this way. Oops. There we Alright. Everything looks pretty much the way you left it. The gurneys are still overturned. The dead body of the rat creatures that you killed here are still there. The dead body that that one guy animated and later, you know, lost is gone, etc., etc. These corridors are still uh... empty and silent with emergency lights um, on at intervals. That's what those little red We're... dots are, by the way. Yeah, where were the uh, stair? Where did we recall the stairs? Were are we the um over here? You remember the stairs being over here, right, right. across from Sorry. the um, f from the doctor's ah, office. Okay. Um, from uh, the doc from the above his perspective, he would know this because you know he worked here. Yeah, also follow me. That's fine. Continue. Alright, continuing on. Nothing but closed doors doesn't look like anything's disturbed it since you were last here. In fact, for all you know, you could have been here, you know, an hour ago, as far as this building is concerned. Yep. Okay, it will go up the stairs. Okay, one of these Oops. stairs, one is the elevator, and I forgot to label them. Oh, I'll just pretend whatever, whatever one's there. Doesn't matter. Uh, yep. Oh, we go. Yep. That'd be good. The second floor. Ah, it's the north one. That 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 one's the stairs. That's the one that's cleared okay. out. There we go. All right. Now you can feel that you're on the right floor, and it's a bit south and west. South uh, and west. Yep. Okay. Hey. Well, and look around this corner. Devil sniffs the air and whimpers slightly. Okay. We then Sorry. have, uh, Kurt go to stealth. Alright, roll your stealth rolls. Yep. Whoa. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, I got a big bubble scar. Well, I think I can only. See, I don't think you're the only one. I think. Hold on, let me. Go that was a great stealth roll, Maul. And it, yeah. yeah. Basically, you're 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 sneaking around completely unheard by anything in these rooms. Nice. Uh, I need to show global. Ah, uh, poor Bubba. Double st stumble is loud enough to make some, bad enough to make some noise. You hear a slight hissing coming from from this direction, but nothing comes out to meet you. All right, I'm gonna continue forward quietly. Bubba would point out at this point that that's an operating room to yourself. Thanks, Sorry, Bubba. Sorry, Mel. <laughs> I need to fix my roles so they show up to public. So I know sure. it's in the game. No. I need to figure out where that is. Uh, it's the, it should be the top of your character sheet. Uh, no, 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 edit mode. Oops, sorry. Edit mode. I saw it earlier on something. Uh, core. Oh. 
That's weird. I know I saw it earlier on something, and I can't remember where now. It's probably on. It's probably somewhere in here where you have to switch it. Mm. Oh, there we go. Whisper rules to GM. Always whisper rules. Never whisper rules. There you go. Little query. Yeah, there you go. All that should be set now. Okay. Well, first roll of the night. Not twenty on the stuff. So. Mm -hmm. So you're completely unheard. So you guys quietly pass by time. the uh, the operating room. Awesome. Damn it. There we go. You see Devil going alert, his ears pricking up. What the hell? How's Bubba get over there? He sniffs at the door to, to, to what you know... To, what, sorry. He sniffs the, at the door at what you remember as being the supply closet. Yep. There's fucking those creatures in there. They're guarding it. Or being lazy. Depends on who you ask. Uh, where am I headed to now? Just keep going south? Keep going south. Alright. You basically went around the long way. <laughs> That's okay. Now you feel right. it folding you towards the east. Okay. How about now? Still south and still east. Sorry, and slightly north. There you go. You feel that it's definitely in that operating room. Oh, uh, right. Maul, from your perspective, as you peer in t anywhere near the room, you see a figure, um, a humanoid figure, uh, covered in spines, which appear to be pierced through. Uh, the remains of a lab ca of a um, doctor's coat. Um, I, unlike some of the I other monsters you've seen, this coverage. one definitely has eyes and appears to be mumbling to itself. Uh, the voice sounds the somewhat commercial. female. Sorry, I look at the two new commercials like, don't say a thing. Bob was like, hard to talk to me like that. And Kurt's gonna. Knock on the door. You hear, you hear a woman's voice yell back, What? What? I'm in the middle of surgery here. Hello, doctor. You remember me? It's Kurt. The gnome? Oh, yes. I remember you. Come on in. Thank you. I opened the door. And of course, everyone in. might be surprised because you would recognize that voice as Dr. Summers. Yep. Uh, Bob was like, What the? And Bob was like, Please just stay. There's a different body this time as you walk into the operating room. It's still like one of those liquor things, but instead one of the cling drops. She's got it tied down on the operating table and was busily cutting it open. There's blood That's trailing down along drops. the sides of the things. It's going okay so far. What's the, bar what's the matter with him? He is just lazy. Another lazy uh, orderly. Of course, of course. Um, I'm, lo I'm looking for an item. I was wondering if you might know what it is. Oh, what kind of item, little gnome? Uh, what was it? Were we looking for a bracelet or a necklace? Uh, necklace. Okay, I'm looking for a necklace. Oh! So you can see that even even with those weird eyes of hers are brightening up. Um, yeah. She reaches into the, the, the coat pocket of her um, of what's left of her tattered uh, lab coat and pulls forth a necklace. Uh, the, the, the image of the necklace is a dragon with its uh, wings up. You've actually seen this before in that um, shadow place. But awesome. it's much, much bigger. Even one like this. Uh, is that what the other stuff is telling me? That's exactly what the other stuff is telling you, yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hmm, well, Julius, the former mayor, you know, did give this to me. She thinks for a moment. Uh -huh. Not long before the trouble started. Come to think of it, I got it at around the same time as that tablet in my office. Hmm. Yes, ma'am, I, I suspect that they're all connected. 
So, all these, all these things that you've spoken of, and all these lazy, she pokes the, uh, the semi-conscious body, which kind of squeals lightly, lazy bastards and everything. Yes, ma'am. She tosses the necklace at you. Fine, I take it. You. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. Good, good. Now, please get out of my operating room while I finish up here. Of course. Good luck with the operation. Yes, Currently yes. Is... Clyde is kind of hey, well, grimacing at the look of that. Well, that takes care of that. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Kurt puts the necklace on. Look kind of funny wearing that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a monk. I, I give up caring about the way I look. Now the question is, are you planning on looking at any of the other rooms in this place? Hmm. Uh, well, which ones haven't we checked? A lot of them. Yeah. I have way too many rooms in this hospital, but it's because, you know, it's supposed to be a functional hospital, therefore, therefore it has plenty of, you know, patient rooms and everything. But, you know, most of them are empty. A couple of them have some fun surprises uh, in there, but most of them are empty. What do you think, Mal? It's up to you. Mm. Adventure awaits. Alright, well, what, we'll check the various rooms. So we'll start with this one. Alright. Let's see, rumble at the door. You push it open and just see a oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have that on though. Uh area. Yeah, you basically see what looks like a generic patient's room. Uh there are two beds, there's a curtain which is hanging open showing that the room is empty. Um it appears like that it hasn't been used in a while. It's a bit of dust. It's probably been settling here since the incident, since it's unlikely that a, a fully functional hospital would leave a room dusty like this. Those orders are lazy. Ha, 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 ha. Mm -hmm. So that they have interest? No. Uh, you know, if you didn't, you have a short. If you didn't have a long rest already, you could have easily gone in there and had a long rest. Awesome. Basically. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check the store now. All right. And it appears it appears to be much the same. Just a generic room, small layer of dust. Nothing of yes. nothing too exciting, nothing too interesting. Next. Hmm. And that's much the same. Awesome. It looks like there hasn't been too many people in this hospital before this happened, which is kind of a good thing. Out of town people aren't being aren't being mercilessly mercilessly killed by random monsters. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, this appears to be a, a nicely imported um, single. Uh, oops, hold on. Got the reveal area. Uh, stupid thing. Ah, okay. Nicely appointed single occupancy uh, room, probably with some, for somebody with a bit more money that instead of wanting to use the standard free services of the uh, medical profession, um, yeah. there's free health care in this country since vampires run it, and you know if they need blood from somebody, they want you know good blood. So yeah, free health care is an important value in Imlorn. Woohoo! <laughs> But, um, yeah, this one basically looks like the sort of room that the doctor would, would know it would be, you know, an upgraded room that you could spend spend money on and have for privacy. 
Horse, 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 horse. This room is 32. The hell is wrong with those orderlies? Alright, um... Uh, I guess we'll check over here. It's probably a broom closet. Uh, no, that's the elevator. The elevator oh, okay. door refuses to open. It looks like it needs more than just uh, basic backup power to get through. Yeah, I better check this one. Hold on, one second. Ah, that's what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, this room, as soon as you open it, a cloud of flies kind of comes right out your face. The smell of, of rotten decay assaults your nostrils. And as you peer inside, you see that there are two, that there is a rotted body laying um, propped up on the bed. And there's another one um, sitting in a chair, basically. It looks like they've been there a while. Uh, I'm going to go check the bodies. The doctor, the good doctor's going to check the bodies. <laughs> Alright, roll investigation or sorry, investigation check. I mean, if you, wait, if you want me to roll, I mean, uh, investigation is my special. Oh, sweet. <laughs> uh... You can determine that the body on the, the bed um, succumbed to uh, to surgical complications, probably some sort of disease set in, and there was no way of getting medication. The body sitting in the chair seems to have succumbed, from what you can tell from your medical opinion, uh, died of dehydration most likely, since it takes longer to starve to death than dehydrate. Uh, most yeah. likely they were trapped in this room without, you know, additional medical services for quite some time, possibly, you know, months at this point. Yeah. Uh, Is there anything the on the bodies? Like the, the body on the bed has has nothing. There's just, an, you know, remains of a medical gown. The one sitting in a yeah. chair has, um, you know, a set of keys. Uh, the wall, it's too, bad, too badly degraded to tell ID or anything like that in because, you know, but juices got onto it. And a phone in similar condition. Doesn't look like that's going to be working anytime soon. Could I roll to see what I find? Uh, that's pretty much it. He rolled a net 20, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's always fun. It's a dumb shame. They were, these fools were trapped in this room. It's a dumb shame. What could you have done to them, Doc? Right Clyde right asks. What? What could you have done for them, Doc? Clyde asks. Well, not have I been trapped in here. That's what I'm sure. <coughs> well, they got cut up in those time warps, obviously. He, he, he says, as if this is uh, not news to anybody. Yep. Uh, I'll check out the next room. See. Lighting, there we go. Oh, dice. Oops. Uh, this room um, has a rumpled bed, but nobody's in it this time. There's no flies. But it looks like this room was occupied before um, the incident or hadn't been turned down yet um, before the incident. Uh, the bed is rumpled, the covers are pulled out, um, the uh, the dresser drawer nearby uh, looks like it's half open. Hmm. I want to go open that drawer. Alright, now you can roll an investigation check. Let's see what we can find. Investigation. All right. Uh, let's see. You find a hair scrunchie laying down at the bot at the bottom of of um the place, and a framed photo of a human woman with her what appears to be a human son. Um, they both have curly hair and glasses and are staring out at the camera. 
Uh, additionally, there looks like a small hand-drawn picture, uh, probably by a, done by a kid, um, with the words, Get well soon, Mom, written on it. There's no sign of the um, owner of any of these effects. Well, I'm just going to put that back. And just a little keep on moving forward then. All right. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> have Bubba and uh, Kurt head to this room right here. Okay. Uh, this room is a mess. As soon as you step inside, your feet are basically sticking to the floor from all the muck. You can also Gross. see flakes of rust that are just coming down from the ceiling. And kind of like that that one room in the motel that you found, There are the beds are, look like they've been eaten away, and there's even a skeleton laying in one. Oh, gross. This time there's no, uh, there's no bracelet on that one, though. All right, I will uh, check you up the next room. room. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me move Clyde around. Just in case something pops out at you guys, I don't want Clyde to be all the way back there. Right. Uh, Mal, are you opening that door? Yeah, I'll open that door. All right. Yeah, nothing of interest. Em empty double bedroom. Looks like it's got dust on the floor. Pretty much the same as all the others. Well, most of the others. Man, oh man, that sucks. Yeah, this one looks like it was probably occupied at some time recently with, um, you know, rumpled sheets and all that. But there's no bodies in here. It looks like it's more recent. But the air is kind of stale. Well, let's move on to the next room. Yep, I'll check the next room. Mm, hold on one second. Wow. Um, I'm having difficulty finding the, uh, the door on that one. I have on. difficulty finding the door? No, it's more like, uh, I have the doors all set with a specific color, and that color does not exist on here. I think I accidentally, um, just drew it all in the, the base color. So, basically, there's nothing in that room. It's all... Uh. <laughs> Because I can't figure out why I can't see under that room right now. Ah, uh, that's okay. Sometimes these things happen. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it got attached on the main part. I'll fix it at some point. So where are you guys off to next? Um, I thought, what's in this room? Oh, wait, right, we were, there's something in this room. Yeah, and I couldn't get, the, I couldn't get the door of the next room to open, so that door is just kind of permanently stuck. It's broken. You can't go in there. Okay. <laughs> and it's an error, it's basically an error having to do with, um, the, with, with the, uh, the color scheme. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this one seems to be having sit. Hold on, I'm having a problem with this one too. I think I'm too far away. Is the part of the problem? Ah, there we go. Hey, I'll bring it back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nothing in that room either. Yep, nothing. Nothing at all. That's the problem. I, 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 you know, in a normal dungeon, there'd be far less rooms, 
but I wanted to make it feel like a, you know, a viable hospital, so I had to actually put in enough rooms to make it seem like a hospital. Okay. I think that's one of the things I'm going to have to fix for the next time I, I run this game, like, you know, try to split the difference more and, like, you know, have the amount of rooms that are, that are you know, empty and useless. Yeah, I mean, you could just, like, say that most of these rooms are just already locked or... That was, see, that was my original thought when it came to when I was doing this as a, you know, a, um, not an RPG game exactly, but more of a I describe something, you describe something back sort of game. That was easier to go mm -hmm. with. The door's locked and blocked and it won't open. Then to tell that to the D&D &D people and D&D &D people go, I will bash down the door, I will pick the lock, I will use knock, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I had to go with, oops, I can't go with my first instinct, which is to block half the doors here and just have them, you know, walking through a corridor full of doors. Nice. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could have made it like a, I don't know, like a small hospital. You know, like. Technically, this is a small, small hospital, but yeah, for D&D &D terms, I need to make it smaller. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce the mm -hmm. size of the hospital for next time for when I set this game up on the developer server. Yeah. Oh, man. I consider this, I mean, like, beta playthrough. I mean, I think for, like, maybe <laughs> to just save time, I think maybe instead of just going one by one, you you, you just keep rolling until something happens. That works. Nothing. <laughs> and nothing. Yeah, the last two doors in here are also just nothing and nothing. All the fun. All the fun. Yeah, I didn't think of putting anything more in the hospital this time around because uh, last time people were just visiting the hospital, you know, they weren't doing anything. And this time, I wasn't even sure if they were you guys were coming to the hospital first. I there was another location mentioned, and so I wasn't sure if you're going there first or coming here first. And I kind of spent all my effort working on the other area. <laughs> I don't even remember where the other area we were talking about was it's been a while. You, you mentioned you mentioned going to the museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to go there, too. We just want to get all these uh, artifacts. And you just did. You, you got the last of them. That's why I didn't realize you were going to be spending any time, any time more in the hospital, so I didn't put any more thought into it. <laughs> well, you asked, so I assumed you wanted this, too. No, no, I asked in case you... It's, I asked to see it, to make sure that you, if, if you wanted to or not before, just kind of going, moving you back along. So I was going to speed oh, yeah, you through the that. hospital. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do that. It's kind of the opposite of what happened. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. I misunderstood. Oh, no. It's more like, I don't want to roll, roll with people, so before I move them along, I'm going to make sure that that's okay with them, that they want to move along instead of investigating. And it, oh, unfortunately, yeah. it seems to imply the, uh, the opposite. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, random but, but see, I still have ra random rolls and stuff that say that, even against what my thoughts were, that, okay, maybe something is here, sort of things, you know? Yeah. So I write down conditions to myself, like, okay, this role will do this. The majority of roles will be, like, you know, empty room or people are dead in this room. But there's, like, two would be two roles in my set that would actually do something, you know, more interesting. But All right, okay, so your plan on. now is just, to head to the, is just to head to the museum? Yep. All right. Uh, for the sake of expediency and the fact that I've been born, been dying for two weeks, or no, three weeks, yeah, two weeks or, or more to play with this museum, I the, you don't yeah. run into any any encounters along the street th this time. And I'm sorry if that upsets you at all, Maul, since you're kind of new to this, but I've been dying to go to this museum for a while. <laughs> it's true. We all have. Well, I have. I don't know about anybody else because no one else is here. Yeah. This is fun times for me. Oh, I see his darkness. Hello, Hello darkness. darkness my old friend. That's because you're a human and, and everybody else has night eyes, except for Clyde. It's true. So, night okay, Clyde's going to take pity on you and he's going to turn his cell phone on, on flashlight mode. Oh, uh... Since Clyde, decided to, uh, since Clyde decided to join us, Gert's going to tell him exactly what happened. By me, the lich found us, the kid gave himself up because he's a good kid. Stupid, but he's a good kid. 
And now we he know that he's at the museum. That's where we're going to go get him. Clyde frowns and nods, chewing on his nail. The friggin' lich has him. Great. Uh, yes. You just see... It's, oh, that's right. Damn. I forgot about the uh, stupid reveal areas thing again, didn't I? <sighs> My bad. So just forget uh, about Jordan the, says uh, he didn't know there was a game today. It is still being garbage. Oh. He thought that since everybody was dropping out, that uh, the game was on hold. Alright. Well, you're standing in front of the, um, the Pine Valley Museum. It's not a big building compared to <coughs> compared to places like museums in M. Lauren, uh, sorry, in uh, Mail and uh, Tawala and a few of the other cities. Uh, but it's, you know, right next to a set of ruins. Um, you might be able to see the, oh, hold on, I did, did back this out a bit so I can actually show you the gate to the ruins for the area. Reveal area. Yeah, okay, so you see that there's a set of, you can see the gate, the big looming gates to the ruins um, beyond, um, over there to the north. Um, before you are the, the lobby doors. See, you can see that they're glass. You can sort of make see see into it and see like a quiet little lobby. Um, you don't see any movement in there, but everything's dark. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna proceed into the museum quietly. Yep. All right. Well, the doors open up easily. And the hook comes out, there are swarms of rats. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sacred flame of just like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Clyde kind of walks right. in, and double right behind him. It's like, hey, I've been here before. Come on. Oh. Okay, yes. Lead the way. Do where we're going. Second, I have to open up the thing. I forgot about that. <coughs> <laughs> uh. Alright. Um. Uh, Kurt, Bubba? Yeah. You coming? Yep. I was in a, uh, give me a second, I gotta find me. Oh, there we are. Yep. Uh, sorry, computer's going kind of slow. That's there cool. we go. I was making sure you're still with me here. Yep, I'm still here. There we are. Alright. Not actually sure why I'm bothering with the fog of war because it seems like I wanna reveal everything right away. But oh well. Oh well. Let's see, walk through the lobby stores. You can peer into the vast hall. Looking around you can see various artifacts from and Lauren's um, past. First day. Home. You can also see the uh, the doors to the bathrooms over here. Ooh. Spoopy. Anybody has to go, they better go now. 
Well, let's check the bathrooms. Good idea. You check the women's bathroom, I'll check the men's bathroom. Okay. Oops. The, the, women's bathroom looks <laughs> the, the women's bathroom looks neat and orderly with a couple of stalls and some sinks and some mirrors. Nothing more of interest. The men's bathroom is much the same, except it's also got urinals. Awesome. Nothing much of interest in there. Doesn't smell too bad. But this is like the water's running out of there. Alright, let's uh, continue forward then. quietly. Yeah, you can see top tall uh, columns in the hall. The wolf sniffs around. In the center of what looks to be the main hall, you can see a sarcophagus of, of unknown age. Ooh. That looks old as shit. Can oh, I try looks around open. Friends. Sure. Can I open the sarcophagus? Alright, I'm gonna open the sarcophagus. See what's inside. I swear to God. It's got some weird markings on the front. Um, Bubba, what languages do you speak again? Uh, I chose uh, Dwarvish, Elvish, I have Kavad, and Primordial. Maul, what languages do you speak? I speak... Doo -doo -doo. I speak Common, Triconic, Dwarven, Elven. Alright, you, uh, you do not recognize the language sorry. that's written on the front of the uh, sarcophagus. Um, the door seems to swing open some, and you can see the interior. Um, uh, just to, sorry, not to interrupt. The language I actually went to, I couldn't remember what language it was, but it was whatever that lady was speaking. I thought it was primordial for some reason. The, the lich. I wanted to choose the language that she was speaking, but I couldn't remember what it was called. Um, abyssal? It was, oh, Okay. Is it too well, late to choose? She was abyssal? speaking. Sure, to, you can you can speak that. She was speaking abyssal awesome. to the uh, to, to the to the demon. Um, yeah. But no, it's not written in abyssal either. It's written in oh, some language you do not recognize. Uh, inside, um, you see you see dust and you see some sort of waxy substance adhering to the inside of the of the sarcophagus. However, there's nothing. In, there, there's no body. There's no uh, bones. Nothing else inside the sarcophagus itself. Um, investigation check mall also reveals there is a small and seemingly fresh, tiny little blood stain on the very front of the uh, on the very front of the sarcophagus. Um, from the look of things around here, it's like somebody who was bleeding bumped into it and just left a blood trail on there. And it hasn't Can been I do an investigation? Up. Sorry. Sure. Cool. There's Bubba D, and then here's Kurt. When you can't see the whole oh, man. Yeah, you don't get, gain any more insight into, in, in, into it any more than I already gave Mal. Okay. Uh, what's up with that dragon statue? Um, as you look over into that hall, you can be, uh, you see the, the side that, say, that says um, Zaladin era. Um, looks like a, a, a dragon statue from the Zaladin era. The, the entire hall in this section over here, where the dragon is standing, um, is dedicated to artifacts from that culture. Cool. Cool. Uh, continue forward, then. <laughs> Might as well keep going. And it looks like this hall up here, Hall C, also is, um, also has artifacts from the Zaladin culture. I want to check this door. Looks like a small office. Hold on a second. Dynamic lighting. There we go. Oops, hold on. Oh, Baba D's falling into the abyss. <laughs> Baba no! Now you see a small but functional office. Um, doesn't you don't see any really Three personal rounds. artifacts? It's like somebody was just working in here. Um, I have Kurt check this one while Bubba D uh, rubbishes through this one. This door appears one. to be locked. The one that Kurt's in front Kurt of. Hold on. I have Kurt. 
figure. Before you do All anything right. like that, you <laughs> could peek into the door and a figure, a, a spiny figure, uh, kind of like the one in the hospital, except this one um, appears to be wearing the remnants of a suit, um, looks up at you from the desk. Oh, are you the exterminator I ordered? He asks. A gruff male <laughs> voice asks <laughs> from the, uh, the spiny creature. Um... Yes? <laughs> oh, good, <answer>. good. Excellent. <laughs> the storeroom the, the store over there is just absolutely infested with rats. I really need them taken care of. He well, pulls out a set of keys and tosses them towards Mal. What? Oh, okay, I'm going to grab the keys. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. Good, good. Come back when you're done. Okay. Oh, God, I... Okay, I'm gonna walk over to Kurt and like, yo, there's some like creepy ass motherfucker on the other end. That just gave me the yeah, that, yeah, that's what the doctor looks like too. Oh, God. Well, here are the keys, I guess. Cool. So, uh, I'm gonna assume he. Did I, did I hear this conversation? I'm oh, sure I did. Yeah, you heard something about rats and exterminator and. and you ready to exterminate some rats? Then? <laughs> Pulls out my rifle. Yes. Let's do it. I'm going to unlock the door. All right. Give me one second to set that up. Ugh. Yep. Actually, now that the cat has decided that my arm is a good place to lay down on. I usually do. <coughs> eh. nah. I know how to maneuver around her. I know. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. In front of you is a dark and dusty storeroom filled with artifacts on shelves. You can hear the cool. the, the, the little bit of tapping of those um, claw of those spider-like claws and those spider rat things. Awesome. You also hear a slight squeaking as they see the light coming away from Clyde. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Sorry, there. Uh, Chris gonna sidestep this way. <laughs> I'm gonna stand in front of the door. Hello. Yeah, so for a basic encounter that I figure you guys can handle it, even with so, a party member. So a roll initiative? Yep. God damn it, Kurt, stop rolling so goddamn high. Never mind. <laughs> so much initiative. So little time. Yeah. I'm just going to have the rats all go at the same initiative, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, Did you see Bubba D's initiative? No, I didn't see. No, oh, I was asking uh, Grizz. Nope, I just see Kurt, Clyde, and Maul. Damn it. Oh, right, fine. It's, it's um, oh, by the way, it's Mal. It's Mal. Oh, it's Mal. Mal. Not Darth Maul. Mal. Not Darth ba Ball Maul. Well, whatever. Mal. But, Maul. Yeah. But, Uh, okay. In the rootiness, tootiness, most cow place. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What? Ha! That's about to get fucked. Alright. Okay. And five. There we go. No. Yes. Kirk got an AT for initiative. Alright, well... I'm guessing... Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and come in here. Let's see. I can see these two rats, right? Yes, you can. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a pot shot at the this guy with my rifle. Alright. Chew, chew. It's just hunting... Hunting season. Hunting season. Does that hit? Yep. Squeals and dies. Say nice. that. Uh, say goodwill hunting too. <laughs> <laughs> it's hunting right, season. Yeah, it's wabbit season now. I'm gonna shoot again at the other rat. Alright. <laughs> Takes a hit, but it's still alive. It's um, bleeding profusely though. Okay. I'm gonna 
used my last of my movement, or just going to move over here to give everyone some space. All right. And I can, that'll be the end of my turn. Ta da What the? All right. Let me check my spells. See what I can do. All right. Spells. This work. Sixty feet. Bubba D. Bubitsu the brew over here. Then. Uh, have him do Sacred Flame. On which one? Uh, this one. I can't see which one you're pointing at. Sorry. Right. It's that one. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> Oh, load of horseshit, that is. Dog. Can Kirk, Talk. didn't B Bubba do anything else? Uh, I'll see. Uh, let me see. Sorry, they, I've never played a cleric before, so I'm still learning. Oh, uh, let's see. I think that's it. Alright, Kurt. Yep. Uh, how far can I go? Let's see if I... So, these spider rats, are, do they have, like, spider legs with a rat body, or are they spider... Spider legs, legs rat body, cat-sized. Okay, I think I could get away with... And your character would have you've seen and shot at these things before, so... Since these... The, the, the chaos started happening. I'm gonna push this rat. Who knows that they're... That, that they're dangerous if um, if you're cornered and they're in large numbers, but not so much if um, you have a gun and can shoot them or can punch really hard. This rat pretty much explodes into bloody chunks. And uh, that's all Kurt will do since it's fucking exploded. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Mal, roll a dexterity save. What the? What am I? What Roll the? dexterity save. <sighs> Fine. Damn it. Make <laughs> my dexterity save. Never mind. <laughs> you can't get out of the way when something drops down from the top of uh, top of the shelf on top of you. Uh, Whee! Oh, Oops. what the fuck is that? Do I get attack of opportunity? Uh, do clerics get attacks of opportunity? I don't know. I, I no, know they, you have to, it, it, it would be for moving out of your threatened range instead of moving into. But it dro okay, drops down on top of Maul's head and immediately attacks him. <sighs> nice. Oh, yeah, oh. It, it just hits. It just, um, it just since it's hits. dropped down on top of you, it gets advantage. Oof. Well, yeah, it just hits. Yeah, either way, it hit with a 16 anyways. Yeah. So, so it's, 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 uh... Its fangs basically bear, b bury into your um, neck or shoulder, drawing blood. Oh, dick. <laughs> what an asshole. And now for the spider rats. Of course. What are you going to be, little chub? <laughs> this oh. one attacks at, um, at Maul's ankles. Cops <laughs> misses. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, no, it hits. Never mind. Shit. <laughs> Another sick so... damage. God, what an asshole. Another one comes over and bites at you. Oh, yeah, that hits too. Nice. Another nine. It's nine damage. I'm just taking 18 damage. That's fun. Oh, man, I'm about to fucking shoot some rats. Absolute tickets. Yep. Alright. Next rat comes over here and attacks Bubba. Bring it! Har 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 har. Uh, no. Alright. 
And the last one goes for Kurt. Ah. Bring it. And that God damn it, Clyde. God damn it, Clyde, where the fuck are you? Yep. Hey. Clyde pulls out his gun and fires at the one right in front of uh Ma oh, killing it. Bang bang. Bang bang. And then he sends in um, Devil to mop them up. Devil charges in and bites at the rat that's next. It's also next to Mel. Basically picks it up in his jaws and crunches it for the kill. Bang. Gross. Well, you're, cur you're currently grappled um, but by something that's kind of like on your head and shoulders and clinging around you. So you're going to have to either get out of, uh, sorry, get out of being held by it or fire at disadvantage. Um, <laughs> what, what's disadvantage to a gunslinger? <laughs> that is I go, he's, he's not, he doesn't have me holding down. I have him where I want him. <laughs> Alright, uh, disadvantage, right? Okay, let's roll You better hit if you're shooting at point blank, I say. Which one are you firing at? The thing that's around you? Uh, yep, I'm shooting the thing that's on me with that disadvantage roll. Alright. And it hits. You're nice. glancing blue al along one of its arms. Blood splattering to the ground. Is he dead? Nope. Oh, these things have good HP. <laughs> Alright, fire it again. I'm going to take another chunk of flesh and blood out of it. It's not dead yet. <laughs> no, the, rat, the, the rats are small chains. This thing is a uh, is more of a challenge. I just imagine just like fucking just shooting the fuck out of this guy. Like, gonna <laughs> get him the fuck off. Well, I guess I can't. I guess I won't go down. I guess that's the end of my turn. Alright. Bubba. Hold still. I will take a whack at it. Jesus Christ. That's a miss. Did I take a whack out of it? Damn. It's a miss. Oh. Well, I think that's all Bubba could do for now. Kurt. Alright, first, Kurt's gonna punch the shit out of this rat. Alright. That tried to dare bite him. That's a miss. I uh, will try again. And that's a kill. And then I'm going to move forward. And I'm going to spend a key point and I'm going to punch this rat. Ah, oh, damn it. That's a miss. You fucking, fucking jinx me. <laughs> damn you. <laughs> Any more? Uh, that's all I can do for now. Alright. You know, I rolled both sixes on those rifles. Thank God for plus nine. Because I rolled both sixes on those. And I managed to fucking hit. The clean drop fights at you again. Oh, dick. This How time, it looks like it's it, like its jaws just kind of scrape the edge of your armor. Spider dick. rats. First spider oh, attacks Bubba. Oh. Five damage against oh. Bubba. Oh, no, 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 no. Next rat runs over here. That slightly stings a little bit. And also attacks Bubba. Of course he does. Three damage. Next rat attacks Kurt. Looks like a miss. And the last one. Oh, by the way, these things have pack tactics, so the spider rats attacking Kurt have uh, have advantage. The last one attacks That's Kurt. Close. Oh, I don't need it. Uh, that's how it does hit. Yep. Uh, clash. Oops. Hail. Clyde, meanwhile, comes up towards the door and uses his gun and sneak attack on, if it lands on the clean drop. And does eight damage to it. It's dead yet. The, no. And then the wolf um, lunges up on Maul to attack the, uh, the clean drop as well. Jesus Christ, everyone's trying to fucking get this thing off. Yep. 
Yeah, it's only down half. It's not even down halfway yet. Son of a bitch. No. Oh, I'm gonna do what I do best. God damn you! Go to hell. Yeah, go to hell. It's a disadvantage too. I managed to. Nice, dude. Go to hell, dude! Die! Nice! 18. Bang! Bang! Now it looks like it's down past hell. Uh, past, that past, uh, halfway. Get off my oh, grill, yo! Yo, get off my grill. I'm so happy the disadvantage is a 20. Damn it. Bubba! Shit, what do you bring to the table, Bubba? Oh, still. Bubba D is gonna fucking try to set him on fire with a uh, sacred flame. Um, the cling drop? Yes. Alright. Oh, I rolled a net so. 20 on the other hit. If it wasn't disappointing. Ooh, you ah. got it. It's gonna burn with radiant, t with radiant flame. Which, <gasps> thankfully for Mal, does not hurt him. <laughs> Kurt. Okay. Hang on. Okay, I will attempt to push this fucking rat again. And it's dead. And the next one. And oh. that one's dead. That fucking my fist touched it. The static electricity exploded it. Yep. And uh. <laughs> yeah, the, those rats I'm are easy. Going to, I'm gonna go ahead and move behind this rat. And, uh, that'll be the end of it for now. Alright. Coin drop. Bites it down. Nope, it's biting oh. down on you again. And misses! Oh. It manages to catch only your armor again. Tick. I just paid for that armor. It's a coat, actually. It's a swanking coat. Yeah. Alright, this... The, the spider rat turns around and bites at Kurt. Bring it. I think that just barely misses. And the other one goes yep. for Bubba. Yep, this. Huh. Clyde. Clyde shoots at the clean drop. Please, Clyde. God damn it, get it off. And he does another rate damage. How much goes back to Mal? Okay, so I fired one, two, three, four, five, six, six rounds. Okay. All right, I do what I do best. Son of a bitch is getting off me one way or another. Oh no! Um, even with a plus die, that was still a that one. Oh. Ouch. Uh, That's rough. So what happens? The gun, yes. the gun clicks and jams. Son of a bitch. Ah. I'm guessing to switch. I'm guessing to switch is gonna be in action. Yeah. Ah. Fuck. Well, I can't do anything. Gun jammed. God. Bubba. Uh. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to kill the spider right behind me. Okay. So. Actually, first I'm going to summon uh, my spiritual weapon. Okay. And then I'll kind of attack with the same turn I summon it. Mm. Uh, I can't remember. Hold on. Oh, okay. So, uh, So it is summons, you need a full turn, but I think Spirit Weapon was something different than a summons. Create a floating spectral weapon within range that lasts the duration or until you cast a spell again. When you cast a spell... Okay, it's immediately... it immediately hits something. Yes. Okay, cool. Let me just... Try to see if I, what level I want to summon it at. Probably one, because it's a rat. <laughs> yeah, I'll just cast it so at the second level, though. Alright, it's under your control. So oh, you can move it wherever you want. It. 
Uh, well, we didn't do shit anyways. You can still move it wherever you want. Oh, okay. I'll put it behind the spider rat. Kurt! Alright, first... I will attempt to punch this rat. Cool. Instead. And then I'll move forward, and it was my bonus action, I'm gonna punch that thing. <laughs> the spongy feeling cling, cling drop. And you miss. Damn it. Alright, that's uh, all I'll do for now. Bring it cling drop, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's see, cling drop. Because you attempted to hurt it, the cling drop, uh, reach, it's still holding on to, um, to Maul, reaches one of his claws over to strike it, uh, Kurt. And misses. Hey, 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 hey. Spider Rat, attack, attacks, Bubba! Miss! Yep. Clyde, Clyde <laughs> shoots at the cling drop. Get it off. Woohoo! Oh my god. Critical! Not yet, but it's... It just took half its remaining damage. Sweet. Um, half its remaining health, sorry. So it's good. Oh, sorry, Devil gets to you next. Devil attacks the uh, cling drop as well. Ooh! Ooh! Actually, Devil Devil reaches up on top of Maul, grabs the cling drop in his jaws, and just wrenches it free, snapping it in ha snapping the, the, the creature in half. Good boy. Thanks. Good boy. Oh, I guess I'll take this turn to fix my gun. Alright. Alright, uh, roll that tinker tool. Fourteen. Fourteen. Well, you're no longer on disadvantage, so... You don't have to worry oh, yeah. about that. Yeah, I switched it back now. Yeah. And now Bubba can have the final blow against the spider rat. So I'll have the spiritual weapon attack. Uh, sure. Uh, and it kills the, the rat. Okay. You have successfully right. killed everything in this in the storage room. Congratulations! Let me sign XP uh -huh. now. <laughs> Yay. Kurt, uh, Kurt wants to know how he's feeling with all the magical jewelry on. Uh, he's feeling quite fine. Oops, sorry, that's okay. He's feeling quite fine. Uh, the doesn't seem to be affecting him. Okay, so, like, I'm not feeling anything, like, uh, leading me somewhere, or... Hmm. No, not yet. Okay. Well, it's time to go back to that fucking asshole told me to come in here and clear the rats. Yep. Why'd you go have a chat with him? Or would you rather me do it? Oh, I got this. Alright. And knock on the door. The, the the guy behind the desk looks up. Ah, did you fi fix the rat problem? Uh, yep, it's all taken care of. Oh, good, good. He, he puts down whatever he's working on and comes out from behind his desk. Well then, how about a small tour? Sure. Uh, it is now just after 10 o'clock. How about we start, um, next session with, with the tour? Alright, sure. sounds good. Because I don't want to get interrupted in the middle of the tour when I start getting really tired. Um, what a, yeah, that's, that's fine. And I'm hoping that by that point Jordan will be able to come and join us. And I don't want Jordan mi missing out on, you know, Jordan's character missing out on the, the tour. Yeah. Oh, the tour, the tour must be fun. Well, it's it's basically a lot of it will be some interesting background information, which may or may not help you on your quest, depending on what what you get out of it. But um, but yeah, you know, 
I wish we... You know, if we were fighting something a lot more serious, those attack rolls, if I wasn't at disadvantage, those would have been insane rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your character's gonna be 